The next step in my journey includes this course. And by reading Robert Greene's Mastery, written in 2012, I learned more about defining my life's tasks. He lists five premium examples of how to find your life's task. I will describe three that have resonated with my life purpose as I have described it here. He gives us the primal inclination strategy on page 29 under the section titled Return to Your Origins. He begins with, as quoted by Green, for masters, their inclination often presents itself to them with remarkable clarity in childhood. Currently, I am visiting my mom here in Virginia for the Thanksgiving holiday. And I asked her what I was like when I was two and four years old. Her response was, you liked to play with toys. And that was all and walked away. I giggled and thought, well, what relevance could this have during this moment with my attributes to my new endeavor as an adult child with a new purpose. Ah yes, toys. Life is a playground and I instantly thought about the computer, the camera, the gadgets. Green goes on to say on page 31, you must understand the following. In order to master a field, you must love the subject and feel a profound connection to it. Later that evening, there was an episode of 60 Minutes on her television. I popped up in excitement as I was in the kitchen making my one time a year turkey sandwich. Is that Jane Goodall? They were showing the gorillas and admiring her work. I told my mom that before I wanted to do what I'm doing now, which is being a spiritual life coach for humans. It was always my goal and dream to work with animals. The people like her and I have a similar character and natural ability to communicate and work with animals. My mom's response was that you should have stuck with that instead of doing all of these other options through the years. The concept is represented in mastery under the rebellion strategy. Avoid the false path. The section reads, if it is money and comfort that dominate our decision, we are most often acting out of anxiety and the need to please our parents. It is the opposite experience for me. However, I have always rebelled, if you will, against my parents' thought I should do based on their experience. And I leaned instead into my own passions and ability to attain personal freedom. Following the spiritual path is not always easy in this world. It is not always financially rewarding, but I have had always been provided what I need and more, including spiritual wealth. I continue on my journey and path in the direction that I see that God has for me, which is day by day. I have been building the blueprint of a large ecosystem for the future for not only myself, but to lay a foundation for generations to come. That requires more of my learning and in various industries with a large skill set, all of which can appear unrelated and confusing to people who cannot see my distant vision. Green suggests under his fifth strategy, which he calls the life or death solution to finding your way back. The road to mastery requires patience. You will have to keep your focus on five or 10 years down the road. And when you reap the rewards of your efforts, page 42, the drive that I have to get through the tough times 
is derived from my hope and prayer each day. It will all come true, and it is happening. Just don't die. And so I pray to God just to keep me alive long enough on the planet to fulfill the dreams that I see in my true heart. To review the turning point that I experienced just before I began to attend Full Sail, over the past two to three years, I had been traveling on the entrepreneurial, free-spirited, nomadic journey across the United States and Mexico, as represented in my calendar, which I will explain later with my SMART goals. I was going to deliver the good news to peoples about enlightenment, spiritual awakening, and the rebirth in Christ. Upon the day of enrollment, I was driving from an attempt to begin a kickboxing gym unsure of whether or not I could even remain still in the city for the six-week course training. As I took a left out of the parking lot to head to the next unknown place on University Boulevard, I heard a message delivered through my divine channel. Didn't you want to attend full sale? And I looked up and I looked left and there was the campus. I immediately had a burst of internal tears break out and my heart smiled. With my reaction representing a solid yes, the next word from God said, you don't have to give up on your dreams. So with that being said, I went into the school. I remembered my behind the scenes tour from the February of 2020 and I arrived just 30 minutes before the office was closing, led into the welcome room, and largely there was the simple dream. Instantly, I felt at home and that there would be no turning around at this point. I was dedicated at the door and passing through to the next room, a quote on the wall that's read, if you are serious about your dream, we will take your dream seriously. And my heart then told me, this is not only your dream, this is your destiny. And I smiled because my mom almost named me Destiny. And so for purposes at the school, my artistry name is Destiny. There is absolutely no place that I would rather be in this moment. And I look forward to the projects that will expand over the next year leading into my professional career as a ministering filmmaker, lifestyle designer, and storyteller. More immediately, I've got two SMART goals that I'd like to share with you today. One is to attain a place to live in Central Florida that is peaceful, where I can rest, study, and create. And number two, to make my 2022 travel calendar with the different photography that I have represented throughout my travels using my new computer software to print them with dedicated paid sponsorships so that I can raise money to support my ministry. And I am confident by partnering with the university, all of these aspirations will become a reality. And then I will represent the possibility to attain the lofty dreams and make them real for others who feel unsupported in achieving the dreams that they desire. Thank you and blessings.